Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time. It's time for me to share with you the secret sauce of winning ads. I'm actually slightly worried about recording this video and putting it out there because I, it will definitely put a target on my back. The military industrial complex will come after me. Raytheon, Lockheed Martin, Boeing. They don't want me to share this with you. They say, Nicholas, you can't share this much sauce. And you know what I say to that? Bring it. Fucking bring it. All right, let's get started. Come and get it. Okay, so the secret sauce of winning ads. Let's, let's actually get started now. So guys, the majority of successful ad angles fall into one of three categories. Let's go ahead and move over here. One of three categories. Number one, benefits. Number two, news. Number three, curiosity. Now, these are in a very specific order, okay? Benefits are the most powerful. News, second most powerful. Curiosity, third most powerful. Look, there's other ways to do ad angles, okay? But if you look at the majority, like if you were to go and look at just on your Facebook feed or Instagram or YouTube, majority fall into benefits, news, or curiosity. Benefits, are the most powerful. News, second most powerful. Curiosity, third most powerful. And what I'm gonna do in this extremely valuable video is I'm going to share with you all three of them and I'm gonna show you why one, two, three is in that order, okay? So we're gonna talk about benefits, we're gonna talk about the news, and we're gonna talk about curiosity and why they work so well and why people look at this stuff and they go, you know what, I just, I, I uh, right? Like I, I have no idea why I wouldn't just give this person my money because that's what marketing is all about, right? It's getting people to spend. It's about fueling the consumer society that we have created. It's about getting people to take their hard earned money, pull it out of their wallet and give it to you. It's about fueling what America is all about, buying more things, right? And we're gonna do that with benefits first and then news and then curiosity. So let's get started. So most ads that fail are focused on features instead of benefits. People, people, of, of this video that are watching this. Ask yourself, do you really care about the features of a product all that much? Or do you care about the benefits that it provides? I'm looking over right here to my side and there's a very large speaker that I can't bring into frame because it weighs about 60 pounds. But this speaker is an expensive speaker. It cost me a thousand dollars. It's a very nice speaker. I cannot remember one of the technological features that was presented to me at all. Something about surround sound, apex audio, something like that. Like, I, I don't know. But what I do remember them explaining is saying that the way that we've structured this allows it that the audio will actually be able to fill your house more effectively so that you can have audio in playing in one room and you will be able to hear it effectively in the other room because of the way that we distribute the noise. Now, I like that, right? I'm going to listen to that. But if they were to say, well, it's, we made it with our Apex thing technology and blah, 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 like, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't care. So good ads, good ads are focused on benefits, okay, not features. Now, you can leave in the features. You can explain the features. But here's the thing. They should always come with a benefit. So an example of this would be this product includes blank feature. We included this so you can benefit. You'll be able to enjoy feature, which will help you benefit. When you explain things this way, people will be like, oh, right. Like no one remembers the features. I remember when I bought my car, they were telling me it's a, it's a Jeep Wrangler or Jeep Rubicon 392. Okay. So I don't remember any of the details. I don't remember any of the features. There was this crazy engine, they put a V8 engine or something like that. I, I'm not a car guy, right? And there's all this stuff that they all oh, the transmission, this type of, you know, torque and this and that. Like, don't know, don't care, really. But what they did tell me was benefits. You'll be able to go anywhere. You'll be able to get out of anything. And on top of that, we put a freaking warthog inside of this engine and it's very, very powerful. It's very loud. And so I remember that, but I don't remember any of the features. And so... When you understand that about people, like up front, they're like, oh, those features are really nice, right? And like, kind of like more nerdy people, right? They'll remember all the features. Nine, oh, I forgot I'm in the highlighter mode. 90% of people, 90% of people, benefits. They want benefits. They like literally do not care about features. So I see this all the time with coaching programs and we're gonna get into that. But an example of this is like coaching programs are like, 
you know, and you'll be able to get our blank system. What? I don't care. <laughs> like, what is that? How does that help me in any way, shape, or form? Well, you'll be able to get our blank system, which will allow you to blank, so you never have to blank ever again. It takes me towards pleasure and away from pain. That's how we position things effectively in an ad. We want to focus on the benefits. Again, the benefits more than the features. We can include the features, but we mainly want to highlight the benefits because what everyone is asking themselves is why should I buy your product? How will this make my life better? Okay. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's give you guys some examples. Let's start with supplements. Okay. Here's a supplement. Okay. So let's say that we have, uh, I don't know, let's say something that I'm taking right now is this like electrolytes. Electrolytes. Okay. I, I do not know what at all the features are. It's like, Hey, it comes with a beetroot powder. It has uh, some specific L citrulline. I don't know. Right. Uh, very, very health savvy people, very aware markets will know all the features and they'll be like, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that makes sense. Right. But if they just told me that and didn't explain the benefits for that, me, the average stupid consumer will consume more, right? They consume more will not know, like, how does this help me? And so basically what they told me is like, Hey, this will help you be way more hydrated. So you'll be able to have more energy throughout the day. It'll give you better pumps. Like you will just feel better in the gym. And on top of that, also it tastes good. Right? Like, that's what I want to know. I don't care at all that it has beetroot powder, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, do you really think that with supplements, we care that this is ashwagandha root from the, the Amazon jungle. That was, that was, fa I don't care. No one cares. What people actually cares why that specific ashwagandha root from the jungle is so much better than everything else out there. It's pure. So you know that what you're consuming is actually from the earth and not just processed in a factory, something like that, right? You have to realize this applies to everything. People don't care about features, no matter what your average copywriter will tell you. They don't care about features. Now you can use it as a unique mechanism for sure, right? Like, Hey, this is unique because we use this. But again, why did you choose this exact ingredient, whatever it is? Okay. B2B services. So let's say that you do lead gen and the feature, right? Is that you are getting, I don't know. In something like this, it's more of like a deliverable, like a feature can be a deliverable. So it would be 10 booked appointments per week. Right? So everyone's saying that. And why should I want that? Why does that help me? 10 booked appointments. You'll be able to grow the company without having to do outreach. I'm going to do OR so you can, right? So you can focus on working on the business instead of working in the business. <gasps> now I'm kind of open to hiring a lead gen agency. Yeah, I do want to do that. Something like that is service where it's a deliverable. It's don't just say this is the deliverable. I'm going to get you a VSL. I'm going to deliver a VSL. I'll write a new VSL for you. Why do I want a new VSL? I'm going to write a new VSL for you that beats your current control. So you are able to see an influx of calls coming in. So you're able to lower your cost per book call on your ads and increase the effectiveness of your ads, right? Like guys, people don't care about the specific, like I don't care about a VSL. I don't care about email automations. I don't care. Show me why I need this stuff, right? And explain it maybe in a different way than everyone else is explaining it. So a great way to do this is do market research. If you're an email marketing agency, find out how other email marketing agencies are explaining it and then figure out a different way to explain it. So perfect example. One of my services is newsletter creation. Okay. I write organic value based newsletters without pitches in them. Crazy, right? Now who would care about that? No one, right? If I just said it like that, but when I explain the benefit where it's so you can build a better relationship with your audience, which allows more people to be open to your pitches when you're pitching all the time and you're just doing what it's pitch, 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 people get closed off and create a level of resistance. 
And so saying that you should pitch all the time, I don't believe in, believe in that philosophy. I think we should build an immense amount of value and goodwill with our audience so you can enjoy, see I'm doing that, so you can enjoy the benefits of an engaged email list. Perfect example of that. Let's do coaching. Let's say it's like relationship coaching, okay? So let's just say it's a, we do weekly calls with you and your partner. I don't care about that. But when you explain it that the benefit is that that way you guys are both able to work through your issues together, together, and it doesn't feel like one of you is doing the work while the other one isn't. We want both you to grow together. The purpose of a relationship is for both you to grow together. And so what we're trying to focus on is you guys working through your issues together and not instead of you going and talking with someone and having to go and play telephone with the next person, no. That's not what this program's about. Instead, we help you work together so you can solve your problems, get better, and ignite this, the passion in your sex life and feel like you guys are both working towards a better relationship. Benefit. Better route. Okay? So that's an example with coaching. So now let's move on to the next type of angle. News angles. News angles leverage relevant information and they imply a sense of importance and urgency. I didn't write urgency, but importance and urgency. Right, so you see this all the time with um, Arizona homeowners are shocked by this new bill. Arizona homeowners are shocked by this new electric bill or something like the VP of, of whatever company um, doesn't want the shareholders to know about this, so on and so forth, right? Like these news angles, they're leveraging some form of relevant information and that's what gets someone to be like, huh, well, that's interesting, right? I, I, I'd like to know more about that. And it implies like, hey, because this is in the news, because this is happening, it gives us a sense of importance, okay? These are effective too, and we can use these. Like new research shows, blank, with our supplement, new research shows that this specific type of creatine um, increases muscle growth by 22% versus standard uh, forms of creatine. Going back to our services. Recent studies by uh, blank email service provider or, or blank uh, sales platform shows that 64% of prospects are open to um, cold emails, something like that, right? It's one way to do it. Okay, and then our relationship, right? Um, again, I like researchers and stuff like that. Um, uh, leading therapists conclude that, something like that. Or um, did you know that 67% of marriages in America today are dying in divorce, right? So with a lot of these things, um, we can leverage current information that's come out, studies, news articles, interviews with people, so on and so forth. But here's the thing, this doesn't apply to all of them, but with a lot of them, there's a major downside. And the major downside is that news angles get weaker over time. Because guys, like, it can't be that Arizona homeowners are constantly shocked by, <laughs> by the new <laughs> electric bill. Like you can only see that so many times before you're like, oh, like I, I don't think there's actually an electric bill. And there can't just be that the, it's like, you have to show that it's a new angle. And so you have to constantly keep finding it. And this is why you see like a lot of times people have to refresh ad angles all the time. Yes, something has to do with the algorithm on Facebook and YouTube and TikTok and all these things where it dies out. But oftentimes it's just because the audience has seen it so many times that they're just not clicking anymore. They, there's no need for them to click through. And a big part of that is because the angle has gotten weaker over time. It's not relevant anymore. When COVID, the perfect example, I guess I shouldn't say that. I'm going to beep that out, I guess. Uh, the, the jab thing, the, the uh, um, uh, uh, panremic, pan, the panremic, <laughs> when the panremic was live, like ad angles around that were just crushing, right? Everyone was saying this, this thing is made for this, right? It was, it was designed to help prevent this. Or, you know, did you know, like, let's say you were doing a coaching program for business growth. Like right now during the panremic, like this is the best thing for us, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Does that make sense? That it made sense during that period of time, which I'm not going to say, so I don't get banned from YouTube. Um, but it doesn't work now. If you were to use a panremic plan right now, that wouldn't make sense. Okay. So they die with time. So that's why they're number two. They're very effective, but number two. Okay. Now moving on. Here's the thing. Curiosity angles are a major gamble. Very major gamble. Why is that? Great question. Great question. 
they work only if the prospect has time and desire. So think about it. If you were to present something like, um, you'll be shocked to find out these three facts about blank. It's like, hey, if I got some time, I'll read that. I'll, if I got some time, I'll watch that, right? And, and if I really want to find out more about blank, whatever it is, I'll watch that. But it's not really offering me anything, right? It's just information. And so, again, they can work, but not all that well. They, 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 they are definitely not as effective as a benefit-driven uh, ad angle. So you got to think about this. Like, you ever see those ads where it's just an, an abstract concept? Like, I see this a lot with... Um, um, with spiritual people, spiritual concepts, like people that are doing spiritual coaching, like the things they're saying, they want to make it very woo and very vague. And then it creates this curiosity of like, well, what's this person saying? I kind of want to know more about this, right? But that's only if they have time and desire to figure out more. Versus if you were to do a benefit driven angle that this new form of meditation actually lowers your stress by 64%. Clinical studies are showing this. Now it's like, if I'm a stressed person, I really want to find that. I'll find out more about that. So guys, you got to understand that curiosity angles, again, they're, they're sometimes effective. Most of the time, they're not effective. By the way, let's admire my drawings for a second. That's a king of hearts. No one's doing it like me. Nobody. Not one person. Nobody does it like me. Nobody does it like me. Nobody's better than me. Nobody draws better drawings than me. Nobody explains marketing like I explained. I ex I've explained a lot of marketing and no one's explained it like me. Truth, so true, King. So guys, curiosity angles are good and I, I like them, but again, they're just a gamble because it's it's just, I've seen that they don't really like, they don't create a sense of urgency in any way, shape or form. Like you see this a lot with metaphors. So people will say like, did you know that Amazon FBA is a lot like blank? That's a curiosity angle, right? It doesn't implicitly state the benefit for me right out the gate. And so if I got time, like if I'm just shooting the shit on YouTube right now, oh yeah, I'll watch that. But if I don't have time and I don't really have the desire, I'm not gonna watch it, okay? So they can be effective. Most of the time, they're not gonna be effective though. So benefit-driven angles are king. They're the best ad angles. You will notice if you were to go to most of these ad spy tools and everything and go find the best ads in every single character in every single category, it is because they are benefit driven. They focus on the benefits. And why is that? Well, because the best ads answer the age old question, what's in it for me? What's in it for me? If you look at this, W I I F M W I I F M. This is the radio frequency that your prospect is tuned into at all times. What's in it for me? People are inherently selfish. They don't give a shit about your product. They don't care. What they do care about though, is if you actually provide solutions to them, if you're actually helping them solve their problems, if you're actually helping them get out of hell into the desired land, the promised land, the holy land, right? Are you helping them get there? If the answer is no, guess what, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to see uh, not as much effectiveness from your ads. But when we do answer that question of what's in it for me, people want to listen. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is the secret sauce of winning ads. The secret sauce of winning ads is focusing on benefits, not features, not curiosity, not that type of stuff. It's benefits. Why should you listen to what I have to say right now, right now, right here, right now in 2023? If you write ads from this perspective of why the hell should they care? And you ask yourself that question, picture a little grumpy man. He's got his arms folded. And here's you on your laptop, right? Here's your laptop. I want you to imagine that while you're writing, there's a little grumpy man standing right or sitting right next to you. And he's just sitting there be like, so why should I care? I don't care. Why should I care? What's in it for me? Right? If you just imagine that this little dude is right there, when you're writing your ad copy, it'll just make it a lot easier for you to craft messaging that appeals to the market because it is benefit driven. Why should you care? Well, I'll tell you, you son of a bitch. And then you go and explain it. So that's everything I got for you guys today. That's the secret sauce of winning ads. It's to focus on benefits. Don't focus on features. 
focus on benefits. All right, you guys, that's everything I got for you. I'm Nicholas Verge. Have a good one. Bye-bye.